finally watched the first episode of the One Piece live action remake and here's my thoughts on it. Welcome back you guys to my channel, I'm Kiwi Productions. I review movies mostly but I also talk about anime and TV shows. Basically anything related to the entertainment industry, I talk about it. And this is my thoughts on the first episode of the One Piece live action remake. So the first episode is uh, slightly over an hour long. And here's my thoughts on it. I think it's pretty good honestly. It's honestly pretty good. The, there were certain things to improve on I felt. And they made a lot of changes which I appreciate because you can't just adapt anime into live action because there are certain things that happen in anime that wouldn't work in live action if you just adapt it. Especially in One Piece where there's a lot of ludicrous things going on and there's no way you're going to be able to adapt all of them into it because in live action you look kind of weird I would say but I really like what they did here. We have a few issues here and there but we'll get to that later but overall it's a great pilot to the show. So in this show, the live action remake, we start off with Roger and his execution and then he tells everybody about the One Piece before he gets executed. So naturally, all the pirates are after this treasure to become the next king of the pirate. And Luffy, our main protagonist of the show, also wants to become the king of the pirate. So he's also after the One Piece to the Grand Lines and he wants to find crew members. So in this show, we start off a bit different with Luffy. So in this show, he's on this boat talking to this bird and this bird flies away, rejects his rejects his offer to be a part of his crew member and then ship sinks but since he cannot swim he jumps into his barrel and the barrel just flows away and later to be found by Kobe but the anime did it a bit different in the anime we didn't even know that Luffy was in the barrel they kept it a secret from us that inside the barrel was Luffy until Co until Kobe finds the barrel and then we realize it was Luffy all along I really like both introductions for different reasons in the anime version, the introduction kept it a bit suspenseful which leads to a great introduction of the character, Luffy. And then in, in the live action remake, we get to see that Luffy is a comedic kind of character that we already established right away that he's a comedic kind of character. He didn't have the bang that the anime version had but we already established something about his character and I really like um, when they do that, when they establish something about the characters, the kind of person he is, his personality and things. But I did prefer the anime version, but then again, this version was also fantastic. I really like the way they introduced Luffy here. And moving on, he finds his crew members, Zoro as well as Nami. Again, there were a lot of changes, but not much really. The story is still the same. They still respected what Oda created with the manga. The story that Oda created, I really respect that. I think that's the biggest reason why I wanted to check out this anime because if you look at the clips before the anime came out, they are posting these clips about behind the scenes. Because of the level of detail and attention that goes into all of these sets, they take a good amount of time. And our main actor who played Monkey D. Luffy in the live action remake, going to see the original voice of Monkey D. Luffy in the anime and also going to see Oda as well. And when you look at production design and uh, behind the scenes, you can see that a lot of effort has been put into this show and I really respect that. That's the biggest reason why I watched this show. And in the first episode, it's really evident that they put in a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work, a lot of budget, a lot of heart, a lot of passion into the project and I can actually feel the passion that the creators put onto this show. It's really amazing. So the way that the three characters meet are really great. I really like how the three characters met each other. It's a great star. I can't wait to see the rest of the season. And the casting. I think the casting is probably the best part of this live action remake. I think the Whoever did the casting did an incredible job. Like all the actors actually fit the character that they're playing in the show. Like they fit those characters perfectly. It's not just the way they talk, the mannerisms, the way they look as well. It really resembles the characters in the anime and I really appreciate that. I think it's a good job. It's a well done job. A lot of people in the trailer had some issues with the CGI, with Luffy's stretchy powers. I honestly didn't have any problems with them. I thought the CGI was actually fine. I thought it was good. I really like what this show has done so far. And I can't, again, I'm probably going to watch the end of the season and then only after that I'll do a review of it, of the entire season one. And I can't wait for that. However, I did have some nitpicks here and there, just some small ones. Firstly, I had issues with the pacing at the beginning of the episode. After the beginning, I had no problems with the pacing at all. But at the beginning of the episode, I had a couple of pacing issues with it. 
Uh, I think that's mainly because they're trying to squeeze so much source material. Yeah. I think they squeeze like the first five to six episodes of the anime, which if you do the math is about one hour 40 minutes to two hours into a one hour long episode. Yeah, so the pacing had some issues, especially at the beginning portion. And I can see some people saying that the action was a bit over the top, but I had no issues with that because a bit over the top action really suits the show very well, especially with the anime being the way it is. And I think it suits the show here very well. And I wish that um, certain scenes that were excluded, like there were certain scenes in the anime that were excluded in this uh, show, could have been shown in the show as well. Yeah, I, I'm not kidding. Like we had Kobe's backstory, which was really funny for some reason where he was, you know, he was just on his boat and then these pirates who just jumped onto his boat and then they left off with him still on the boat. So he's been stuck with them for two years. So it's kind of funny and tragic, but here he didn't get any backstory. And unlike the anime where he actually got proper ending because he was able to join the marines and so he actually had a proper ending there but here uh not so much he we just left him aside and then he said he wants to go follow his own passion which is a good thing but i wish he got more to him uh that again that's just my wish i've only seen the first episode uh, there's still more to come but i hope that they show more of shanks in the next few episodes because the, because there's one scene in particular with Shanks in the anime that I'm craving to see in the live action I mean, how they're going how they're going to adapt it and I believe that scene will be in probably episode 2 or episode 3 I predict it's going to be in one of those episodes so I'm hoping they don't exclude that scene and yeah the episode 1 was fantastic it had a bit of minor issues with mainly the pacing but Overall, I had no, not overall. I didn't have much of the issues with it. It's a great start. If you are, if you really like the anime, I think you should definitely give this live action remake a chance. I think it's a pretty good live action remake. I don't think it's the best live action remake, but it's quite good. It's it's good. For, it's a really good one. I can't wait to see the rest of the episodes. And yeah, that's all for today. If you like this video, click the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And see you guys next time. You guys are always the best.